Don't miss out on the special offer from my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They're currently giving you 20% off if you use my coupon code Poodle at checkout and also giving you an additional 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys what you should be doing in Madden right now. Now, the first week's over. The first, the first like wave of a lot of crazy stuff is probably over. It's time to settle now and start getting a groove for how you're going to be playing Madden. So, I'm going to go over what you should have been doing already and once we clear those bases and we know that that's done already for those who haven't yet got started and those who have already i'm gonna be going on to what i'm gonna be doing now so obviously there was the day one solos you want to play get the free nats which pretty much the first week of Madden, you get those free nats you get all the free nat cards you can get all the free stuff once you're done with that then you need a groove so i am be showing you guys everything i'll be doing in an order and telling you by what kind of player you are and what you should be doing right now until the Madden season officially kicks off which i believe will be more like when weekend league starts and the season actually starts so this is like the preseason of Madden. You know, it really starts when Team of the Week's all star and the season gets rolling. So guys, first things first. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to smack the sub button. Let's get that thing going. We're so close to 3K subs. We're like 140, 150 away. Everyone watching this right now, every single one of you, go hit the sub button. Turn on the noti bell. And let's get to 3K by tonight or by tomorrow morning. And at worst, we'll hit it tomorrow night and Monday. I'm confident in that. Now also, smash the like button. Let's get this video to 100 likes. You guys have been killing it, getting at least 50 likes a video. Close to it at least. If we can get that up towards 100, I'll be very happy. Now guys, comment down below if I missed anything as per usual because I love getting feedback on that. It helps me for the next video. So just comment down below if I missed anything and I'll include it in the next one. Now, first things first. So, come over to your objective list. I'm going to show you guys the objectives you want done. First thing you want to be getting done right now is the mutt level. First thing I'll be doing when you first get this game is complete your mud level. Get that all the way as far as you can, if you have time, obviously. So this doesn't apply to people with families and jobs and a life. You know, I understand if you can't finish that. So if you can't do that, that's, that's fine. But if you have time, the first thing you want to do is get the mud level done. Get your power passes. Get your free, like, seven to eight elites off power passes. Get your free best elite in the game. Get your free 300k worth of platinum quick sells. Get your free 100k worth of quick sells. Get your free packs and all of that. Get that out of the way. That's, that's literally... I would say between 500 to a million coins saved. Maybe more in power passes, in quick sells, platinum cards, packs. So get that done right now. Second thing you want to do, once you're done here, you want to come over to solo challenges. First thing you want to do, in my opinion, is get the NFL epics done. NFL epics is just an easy way to get a lot of packs and a lot of players. So look, tier one, gold tier three times that pack. Tier two, same thing. Tier three, same thing. Baker Mayfield, tier five, same thing. Deacon Jones, tier seven, same thing. And then an elite player in that. That one's kind of hard because you got to get, I think, like max stars in all of them. So let's do that at your own risk as you feel time for that. Now, remember, guys, I have DeAndre Hopkins in that. I pulled them out of the tier one, two, and three packs. You get three players plus, you have three players or better in that. So that's where I got Hopkins. I see a lot of people getting Wagner, Mac, good elites out of there. So don't hesitate to go and grind these out. And you get a free 86 and 87. I mean, free 86 and 86, which again, you can put into the exchange set. You get a free 87 or 88. So those are two free beasts right there to start your team. So, so far, you're working with about 500 to a million coins worth of training and stuff and quick sells from the levels up, level up, plus platinum players you can quick sell, which is why you have all those coins, plus power passes, plus Baker Mayfield and Deacon Jones. That can all be done literally within a few days. I did it within a few days. Now, this is much superstars. This is the next thing you want to do. Much superstar. No. No, wrong thing. Assemble your team. Assemble, not much superstars yet. We're not there yet. So assemble your team. You want to get this done next. So you get free 70 overall players. You're going to want to put these guys in your lineup. Keep grinding these out. Get the trainer packs. Get the tokens. Get all the tokens. And then once you get all the tokens, put them in. Get a free 85 player. Now, guys, if you're wondering how you do all that, I already made a video on it. I made a video of my core making method on how to finish this. If you guys don't, go check that out. I went over it all in depth, but just quickly. You're going to need about six tokens. You're going to play all these. You're going to get a choice of Juju Smith-Schuster, Matt Ryan, Greg Olson, uh, Lattimore, and Tyrem Matthew. So total right there, you get one of those 85. So right now you're working with an 85 Ultimate Trainer card. You're working with 286 NFL Epics cards. You're working with 500 to a million coins and savings and training and everything and power, uh, whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. That's what you're working with so far for free. You're working with that. Now, guys next ne next thing you want to be doing there's a theme builders these are these, these are these are for specific types of players i wouldn't recommend these for everyone these are full season long solos so it's going to take some time 
probably take a few hours, maybe like five to six hours if you played them straight. I don't know. It's gonna definitely be a grind, but you do get a free 86 overall, a free power up, and a base elite. So if you did like the Lions one, it goes per team. If you did the Lions, you got Darius Slay, you got his power up, his elite, and his 86. You can power it all up all the way. It's a great deal if you have the time, but these are not for everyone. I understand that. Now next, guys, what I will be doing is the journey. The journey NFL 100. I haven't got to do these yet because I've been so worried about content creation and everything else, but I'm getting there slowly. The journey guarantees you. Let's see, we go to milestones. You get a get a gold player pack, a gold player pack, a premium pack, 25,000 coins, a gridiron pack, 25,000 coins. Uh, I still don't know what this is for. I'm assuming this is the base elite from Michael Thomas to power him up. 80 training, a gold premium pack, and then you get Michael Thomas 88 overall. So we have Baker Mayfield, Deacon Jones, almost 500 to a million coins. We got um, ultimate trainer card and the, possibly a theme builder card we got easily probably 100k here and solos uh quick sales and then plus the packs and then plus michael thomas and if that's the training that's insane that's all you got so far you could have a you could have a good amount of good team so far off just that no money spent obviously now next is the mutt superstars mutt superstars right here is what you want to be doing in my opinion you can do everything else first, but make sure you're getting your dailies done on these. So the way this works is right now, there's the new must superstars, there's the, the golds, the 84 to 85, and there's the 89 to 90s, which is Mahomes, Zach Ertz, Stefan Gilmore, and what I miss, Harrison Smith. So at 145 stars, you get a free one. So the way this works is that you're gonna wanna get, you're gonna want this free one. It's gonna be crazy, that's, that's 300 to 200K cards in between there for free, depending on which one you pull the 90 or the 88s, I mean the 89s. So the way this works, you play the must superstars, you can grind this all the way out. I believe this comes out to there's 80 total stars, right? Very simple, very easy to do, 80 total stars. And then once you get those 80 total stars, you still need 65 total stars to get the free 89 to 90 player. So to do that, you wanna play these daily superstars. Luckily, it's not like last year or the year past. The years past daily, you have to play that day. If you missed it, they closed out on you. From what it looks like, they stack up. So if you miss them, you still have time to go do these. So. For now, this is gonna take approximately 13 days of daily solo challenges to get to it, but that's not bad. It's one a day, it takes like three minutes. So if you, have, if you haven't already, I recommend going back in case they do remove them, go play them right now, get these done. And then in 13 days, you can have a free Mahomes, Ertz, Harrison Smith, or a free Stefan Gilmore. And you can you, you top that with the, all the coins you made, the power passes, the Deacon, the Baker Mayfield, the Marshall Lattimore Ultimate Trainer, and Michael Thomas, you have a pretty solid no money spent team. No money spent is looking easier than ever this year. Obviously, I didn't do it, but that's because I'm trying to do YouTube and content create. So before you guys comment that, but it's looking very, very easy this year. Next thing you could be doing, guys, in my opinion, once you got all that done, once all that's done and all you got left now, now you're, now you're in my spot, right? You have a really good team. You want to take it online. Now, the next thing to do, you want to use it, right? So the next thing you can do the solo battles, headset season and squads. So these are all acquired taste, right? So solo battles, I believe it's for the people who don't like to compete online. They're not that competitive in a sense, so they just don't feel like they can compete on Madden right now. Go take your thing to solo battles. Solo battles is very, very simple, very easy. Go look up a god on YouTube and find it in a minute. Literally, if you place Legend, which you can place every week just by winning the games, you get 44,000 coins, 60 trophies, two Mary packs, two midfields, two red zones. Red zones quick sell for, I believe, if I'm correct, it's in red zone. No, red zones are like 25K each. So that's 50k. So you're getting like 100k plus there with 60 trophies per week, and eventually the, the rewards go up. So that's not bad at all. And then headset seasons and mud squads is where I like to stick, but preferably headset season. Mud squads is more if you have a group of people, you have friends you like to play. It's very fun. One person controls the quarterback, one controls every other offensive player, one controls um, the head coach, like the playbooks and stuff. And you guys can all control everyone. Just only one guy controls the quarterback. Not really my thing. I like to. Play. I'm more solo when it comes to how I play. So headset season it is for me. The rewards there are pretty simple. You get like. 30 something trophies coins about two two point six to 3k per game you play so it's a great way to earn coins a great way to get trophies because now i believe once you finish all the solos you want to go for the trophy grind because the trophy grind can get you that von miller right over here in the store so after you get all that the next free player that you want to get as a no money spent guy is this von miller where is he he's right over here so to get him i'd recommend going the now one for a thousand trial trophies so you want to do solo battles and if you're going to say no money spent can't play on online then find solo battles and leveling up and whatever else you get from that that's not a bad way to go about it now in my personal opinion the best thing to do which keep in mind that opens up i believe next weekend is mud champions i love playing mud i love weekend league it's my favorite thing to play every weekend madden 
So once that opens up, I'll be playing Heads Head Seasons is like my practice during the week. So that's what I recommend for you guys. And then once Heads, once Mud Champions opens, which should be like on a Friday or third. Forget if it opens up Friday. I think it opens up Friday. It's Thursday. I forget. But that is the best thing to play on the weekends if you guys can compete. It could be really hard. But if you place Ultimate, which I usually do, you get like two to 300k coins, a lot of packs. Definitely worth it. But let me just recap one last time. Once you're done with everything, solo battles if you're less competitive, heads ahead if you're pretty competitive, and squad takes a lot of teammates, so a lot of teamwork, so you, you can't just go with anyone on there if you want to win. And then Mud Champions is probably the most competitive of them all, so just keep that in mind. And that's after you get all the solo challenge stuff. So no money spent is looking easier than ever. I highly recommend you take that route if you really don't want to pop packs. If you don't think you can do it, I just showed you you can. That's plenty of 88s, 85s, 86s, 87s, coins, everything without spending a single dollar. Now, guys... Thank you so much for watching. I hope this is very useful for you guys. I hope you guys can take this and come away with something and go go on after this and go start the next round. Because I understand a lot of people need a path to follow after they did the solos. And this is, I think, pretty accurate. But if you're new to the channel, before we close out this video, make sure to hit the sub button. Like I said, let's get to 3K subs by tomorrow, hopefully. And also smash the like button. Let's get it to 100 likes. That's about it, guys. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.